What's going on, yo? What's popping? It's your boy PR Links. And uh, happy new years to everyone out there, man. Um, I hope that you had a happy and uh, safe new years. Wow, man. 2017, bro. Incredible, man. 2016 feels like it flew by, my friends, man. Anyway, man, I'm bringing you another game of IW playing uh, uh, just regular TDM with some of my friends, Trill, I believe, um, Merc, Mercenary Hitman is in here too, man, in this piece. And uh, these guys, you know, they got YouTube channels, man. Make sure you check them out on the description. Go ahead, check them out. Let them know that PR link sent you there. And, uh, boy, man, look at this, man. This is a nice piece of work right here, man, in this game. I I, I, I did pretty well. Uh, I die only once, spoiler alert. But let me tell you something, man. I was looking at YouTube last week, last year, right? Last week. And uh, just looking for new games, you know, because on my last video, I told you about um, not my last video, my last video I spoke about something else, but on my previous videos, I have a video when I talked about Call of Duty and gaming in general and stuff like that. So I started looking at new games, you know, maybe a new shooter or whatnot. I started looking on YouTube for 2017, new games coming out. Look at this dumbass, he even noticed I was there. And I came across this video that gives you the 10th 10 most uh best 10 best look at you boy going ham that's my only death right there but the 10th best games that go the first person shooters that are going to come out on 2017 and i tell you no lie man like at least say maybe eight out of the 10 games was World War II games or World War One games. At least eight out of the 10 was World War One or World War Two games. And I, I don't understand. It seems like these developers are missing the whole thing. Like, like Call of Duty, like we got this rumor that Call of Duty might be in the Vietnam era. Now there's a Vietnam game coming out already. I forgot the name of it, but there's a Vietnam game coming out for this year. And it, I don't, I, I looked at it graphically, doesn't look too pr promising and, and, and it, it, it looks okay. Okay. It, it looks like it's going to be all right. And a lot of these games, you never know because a lot of these games that come out, and they're not even multiplayer they're just story mode games and I, I don't i never understood the 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 why they do that but but a lot of these uh games you know you think they're gonna have a multiplayer to it and it's it, it's usually a, a story mode or, or it's a co-op um story mode type of thing you know this is they don't have a multiplayer but in the next Call of Duty, the rumor is that it's gonna be a Vietnam game. I, the community doesn't want a Vietnam game. We want a, 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 a what we want is a regular modern day war game. And, and, and you know, it's very simple. Okay, it's not that hard to understand what was was the problem with this game is and what the community wants. Okay. There are problems with the game that has been existing to the, in, that has been part of the game since day one, like lagging, connection, uh, exploits, all these things that happen within the community and that happen with the game that has hindered the experience of the game. But people still have fun playing the game. And the reason behind people having fun playing their older Call of Duties and whatnot is because of the, the skill streaks. The skill, the skill streaks were fun. And I think that since Call of Duty Ghost, we had lost fun skill streaks. You know, there's not 
any like you will have one or two uh school streets that are fun but then the rest of the school streets like really suck they're not really fun to use that guy used the face shift and trying to get me like look how i'll play his dumb ass i'm gonna outplay him right here watch watch i know he's here somewhere because he face shifted but look i'm i'm looking for him i'm waiting patiently so anyway uh what what the call of duty com the call of duty game need needs is cool school streaks man you could bring a modern day uh game a modern day warfare game and just have good score streaks like bring back the ace look at that <laughs> i told you i might get them uh bring back the um the the ac 130 man like the one from from uh from modern warfare 2 bring back the uh um chopper gunner from from black ops bring back dogs bring back the nuke you know what i'm saying like bring back score streaks that are fun to use and fun to play you know there you you could take what you need to do is while you're developing the game you know get the community involved okay get the community involved and and, and have them vote on on the best score streaks that they think they were the most fun to play on on different call of duties like one 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 you take uh modern warfare um uh two right you take modern warfare two and you say which call streets you you like the most and you have people voting and and get involved and then you 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 bring back that score street the same thing with black ops and black ops um, black ops uh, and um, black ops 2 and uh, modern warfare 3 you you feel me and those score streets you put it all of them back into the game and and people gonna have fun because this is score streaks that they voted for this is the score streets they want to see because let's be realistic people play now this you got everybody bad town man i hate that everybody bad town everybody got scared so you know everybody's gone but anyway bring back the score streaks that people want to play with man because people play call of duty to use score streaks not to not you know what I'm saying that's the main objective for people playing the game people want to use the score streaks they don't want to sit there and be look at you boy you poor guy no merciless they don't want to see look at this noob they don't want to come out here and and play this game and and like and when when they get these score streets they like really boring and and not really um they're not really um what should i call it they're just not fun to use they're not uh interreactive enough you know what i'm saying and and, and, and that's what i'm getting at man it's just like they, they need to bring back the score streaks have people vote on them and have the the community pick the score streaks that they want to see in the game and the score streaks have to be make them where you can um like that's one thing blackouts 3d right that i like is the fact that you can come in and out of the score street you feel me bring that back that's a great idea bring it where the you you all your score streaks okay should be where you can either use them or you could get uh, you could put them on ai you see what i'm saying and you can go back and forward with it like the service on call of duty um black house 3 you see you have the score street do that you know what i'm saying so people ha have a choice if they want to operate the school streak so they want to go ai mode with it you know we need score streaks in this game this game it becomes kind of boring when you have score streaks that are useless like this game right here the best score streaks in this game is is the counter uav and uh, uav care package and the warden that's it out of all the score streets those are the only score streets that are really nice you know what i'm saying and look a wolfman joining in late in the game and and it just it just it's just it's it's irritating that you know you you want to use these score streaks and they're useless so the next game it doesn't have to be 
a Vietnam game. Do we want boots on the ground? Yes. But you could you could make a modern day warfare game, okay? A, a modern day war game, and just bring back the score streaks that the Call of Duty community wants. The score streaks that are phones, the one the AC 130s, the the shop gunner, you know, dogs, shit that people want to use, man. Anyway, that's my commentary for today. Once again. Happy New Year to all my my peoples out there, man. To all the people out there, keep it popping, and I'll see you guys later, man. Peace. Adios. Salute.